let us begin a new chapter. Uh, we have learned about consumers. Now, another important side of an economy is producers, and we are going to learn about producers today in the chapter called producers theory. So, just let us look at you know simple production process, what do we mean by production process? Something like transformation, like for an example that what we have here is seed, water, maybe fertilizer, labor, maybe some machines, machines such as tractor, plower, things like that, and then they come together. Here I am not this, let us call this a black box, something happens, and then what we get is crop. Okay. Another example, just for let us take another example, what we have, probably you will be fam more familiar with this, is what we have some sort of labor, maybe physical as well as knowledge. Okay. Then we have some computer hours and we are able to write or these people are able to write some code okay. or in other words software. Okay. I am taking two very different example, crop is some is a physical product while software is not a physical product. Okay. It is, but the process is very similar that some inputs are coming together. Okay. What is happening basically that we have some output and how do we get? We have number of inputs come together somehow, because probably here a labor is bringing or an entrepreneur we can add entrepreneur as another production factor is bringing all these things together and in and they are combining in certain particular way and what we are getting we are getting output okay if you pay attention to these two examples these two examples are very very different the processes involved are quite different okay but in economics we are going to generalize what we are not going to talk about as per se, of course, I will give various example using crop or software or any other production process such as that by using bauxite and electricity, water you get aluminum. Okay. We are going to give lot of example, but the focus will be on this black box. Okay. The focus is going to be in this form that we have inputs some something is happening here and then we are getting output okay this the black box by the way you may have a different meaning of uh, technology in your mind but this black box in economics is called technology this is technology basically which is transforming inputs into outputs okay or in maybe one output or various different outputs so the technology is that black box so, when I talk about technology, I am not talking about smelting process or agriculture or software production. I am just talking about the way that inputs can be combined and an output can be obtained. So, in a very general way, in a very abstract way, we are going to talk about technology. And technology here is simply its transformation. transformation of inputs into an output or more than one output. Okay. It is related to it is that is what technology is. Okay. Now, there are various ways to represent this technology and we are going to learn some of the ways to represent it. One I have already written here. If you look at it that output is a function of several inputs. So, in this case this function is the technology. Why I am calling it technology? Let us 
be clear about it, it is not something quite different, it is not very different, it is the same thing, just the different use. What do we do? We take, let us say, for example, we have one, two units of <coughs> bread and one unit of butter, okay. and then we get, we get a sandwich, one sandwich. This is what we get. So, this is the production process okay, and we can combine inputs only in a certain particular way to get some output. It is not like if we can bring anything and get anything out. These are constrained by nature, these are constrained by our available knowledge. Okay. So, nature is the it is technology is nothing but nature's input nature's and mad main mad main made constraints on production. Okay. So, the in that sense we are using the technology. Okay. So, one is of course, production function that we will use. Fine. We I am starting with the simplest one. This is this is very very simple, that is what we will use first, and then we will get into the more difficult ones. Okay. Fine. But before we just excuse me for a moment, before we do that, let us learn about firm also. What do we mean by firm? What is a firm? Firm typically here, of course, here the production process that I just talk about production of a sandwich, it can be achieved in a household also. At small scale, crop can be produced by one household. Software also can be written by one engineer in isolation. But if you look at the way the world is functioning, what is happening? That large number of inputs are coming together. Okay, large number of people are also people as inputs are coming together and they are participating in the production process. So, what is firm? What is a firm? An organization. Okay, let me just write the keyword. Organization that affects the production. That affects the production, or that carries out the out the production. That's one way to think about a firm. Any other way? Firm, in a way is nothing but the physical manifestation of manifestation of technology. See here what you are looking at, how the firm is organized. This is you are defining a firm based on its organization. Here you are defining firm based on its function. So, physical manifestation of technology. And of course, we can think of various other way. Again, when you go into the organization, it can be hierarchical, it can be horizontal, it can be democratic, it can be, it depends on its function. So, firm is organized in a different way. That is a little more difficult topic to handle in the preliminary course. Okay. We will of course, if you study economics further, you will learn about the firm as an organization. In a in a course called industrial organization. In this introductory course, we are going to think about a firm as physical manifestation of technology. Whenever we use firm, it is nothing but collection of technology that is being used to produce something to achieve certain goal. We have not talked about the goals yet, but you all know that typically the firms strive to maximize their profit. So, that is the aim. So, that is the way we will take the firm, okay? fine and in that sense we will use the firm. And basically you can say this black box is the firm okay? and it is technology as we said and we have inputs again I am emphasizing it and here we have output. Now, 
can you name some different kind of inputs not just the particular input the different classification of inputs that you can think of labor capital labor capital that's a very traditional raw material material, raw huh. material. so let's start with the raw material so rather than saying raw material we will say natural resources okay natural resources what we will have in the natural resources land it is not a raw material but it is one of the natural resources that we use to produce land water minerals oil wood you can think of many more okay natural resources provided by nature typically the second as you mentioned is labor labor typically we can think the physical labor someone is providing hard work you know doing something that is physical labor or someone is providing knowledge physical or knowledge based physical let us put one more physical knowledge and one can also bring the third kind of labor but typically that some people keep it separate so let me put here as two dash entrepreneurship okay what is this that this is entrepreneurship is basically that brings all the all the other inputs together to get certain outputs but this is nothing but a form of you know uh, some form of labor man uh, managers or okay so let's put it three now you talked about capital i will put it here in the category of manufactured inputs and what are the manufactured inputs the inputs machines technology technology we are using in a completely different sense technology is not an input at least the sense that we are using here technology is the transformation machine is manifestation of some technology but again let me warn you when we use technology in economics it has a particular meaning that's what i was trying to define right in the beginning that technology is something that combines all the inputs and produces output so technology is that black box technology is that affecting the transformation okay so we will not put technology here we are using it in a completely different sense so what we have here is the inputs Machine. that first need to be produced not generally available in nature okay need to be produced and then we have that that's kind of and then and then it can be used in the production process and what we have is machines typically and other term that we used is capital but i have deliberately separated it here i didn't put here capital i wrote manufactured inputs because capital is sometime used in a sense physical capital that we have used here and sometime we used in the monetary or in the financial sense financial capital and financial capital is also financial capital is also important to run a, a firm run a business okay and in fact it is in a way manufactured inputs because someone is someone has given value to the money economy is based on you know, in that sense it is also manufactured but we should be able to distinguish between physical capital and financial capital we can say it is financial capital is money money used to start or run a business fine it's clear and these are of course 
inputs are we have another name for these inputs what do we call these in all the inputs factors of production is just uh, another name. 